When I was 14, I tried to commit suicide. Brent Hyatt is just one of the thousands of people in our state struggling with mental health. I could have been helped a lot sooner if my parents weren't so afraid of the, the prospect that their child was mentally ill. Where do you think that fear comes from? Probably fear that they did something wrong, you know? Many people with mental illness either don't know how or are afraid to find help. Navigating the system sometimes can be extremely hard when you're undergoing a crisis. I think if I would have been directed to one more website, I probably wouldn't have picked up the phone. It is getting easier. Baton Rouge has come a long way with addressing the barriers to mental health care. But there is more work to do. There's some things that, that just haven't been addressed yet. And some still struggle to find the support they need. Oftentimes, barriers are the reason why people end up in the justice system or why they end up in emergency departments or without homes because they're so costly right now. When I went to the me uh, mental hospital, I wasn't worried about how I was gonna be treated. I was worried about the money. And that really sucks. Sometimes your insurance might not cover it or that even if it does, it's not just not as affordable. A lot of people who have mental illness sometimes aren't insured. The cost is, is pretty substantial. And often the supply of mental health professionals does not support the demand. There's a host of different options out there. It's just that most people have wait lists now. So you may have to wait months to get an appointment. And once you get in, you may realize they're not a good match. I tried and failed with a couple of therapists. It's not easy to find a therapist that you connect with. I know I haven't really had the best of luck with that. Sometimes you have to try one and say that's not the perfect fit, so I'll have to try again. It doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong. It just means you haven't found the right thing that's gonna you know, help you to heal yet. Unfortunately, identifying that there is an issue is only the beginning of the battle. Stigma definitely plays a big part in people even admitting that there is a problem. We know that specific communities have just cultural barriers that cause them to stigmatize mental illnesses more. They are ashamed of being labeled or being looked at a certain way. That's kind of the messaging that they've been given. That's what society is telling them. And that's not always the case. Even though there's a lot of stigma that prevents them from seeking help, that if we talk about it as a community, we can all heal together. Going through this alone sucks. And it's very, very hard. You have to work to challenge that. And until you do, those thoughts, those negative thoughts that keep going on in your head, they're just going to keep running your life. It's okay to talk about mental health. It's okay to admit that there is something going on. Keep seeking the help. Keep advocating for yourself. Taking care of your mental health means that you're going to be able to show up for your family members or your loved ones. For some people, it's that there have been traumatic experiences that have happened to you that have shaped and formed what you believe about yourself that is not true. It's so important to educate people who are in those vulnerable situations that there is hope and there are community services available. Don't be ashamed of struggling. You're not alone. You're not alone in this. Zach Labe, NBC Local 33 News.